previously on Rob Tr Ah, fuck it. Hey everyone, welcome to the last ever episode of Rob Troid Season 2. More laughs, more jokes, more controversy. Osama Bin Laden. Wait, I think they killed him yeah, too. Yeah, was all, all over the news. Now you may be wondering, why is this the last episode? I love Rob Troid so much. Wait a minute. I don't think anyone's saying that. Soon, the orbit of S-13 will decay, and the oxygen on the station will run out, and we're all gonna die! It looks like Eve still busted. But you already knew that, didn't you? With Eve being out of commission, I've been thinking a lot about robots, specifically robots in video games. So here's the top six robots in video games. Roll it, Eve! I knew that. What defines a good robot? Is it loyalty, sentiency, ability, some other word that ends with E? I've always liked the idea of a singular robot flying a giant spaceship, so look no further than Rob64! You're gonna animate a thing there, right? Uh, yeah? Dude, shut up! Believe it or not, the Rob here actually stands for something other than Robotic Operating Buddy, but I would have had to search our Wingpedia to figure it out, and that site has spoilers up the yin-yang. I apologize for that last part. Rob sends you care packages like you're back in college. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Dear Rob, thanks again for the care package. My roommates and I really enjoyed the top ramen and box of noodles. The other night, when we were all hanging out, Slippy made a pass at me. And he can blow up enemy ships with the Great Fox! Pew 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 pew! When I sat down to write this list, I knew I just had to put a robot from Mega Man in here. I mean, just think about it. Me Mega Man, he, he... he's a robot. So yeah! Mega Man 6! I picked this one because... I don't know any of the other ones. Put it in the... this system. <laughs> Man, I'm tired of dying, so I'm gonna go with my instincts on this one. Pharaoh Man! Pharaoh Man is the best because he's a pharaoh, and pharaohs are from Egypt, and we all know that aliens built the pyramids. There just isn't any other explanation. The aliens. Wait a minute. This is Mega Man 6. Pharaoh Man's not in this game. Play me out, Shotgun Messiah! Speaking of robots with personality, HK47! He just might be the single greatest character in the first KOTOR game. Besides Kandra. The main reason he isn't higher is because he only levels up his feats like every 8,000 levels or so, so you have to get him early on if you actually want him to get good. But he's got personality, so it's okay to suck. You have all these squishy parts, Master. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. It's like if you're a really fat dude, but you still get laid because you have a charismatic personality. Wait a minute. That sounds like someone I know. I know firsthand how you have to have a good personality as an overweight male. I mean, just look at me. I've been fat for years and nothing's changing about that. I mean, just look at... Uh-oh. Something's not right here. So long story short, S-Video connections don't capture sound. Robots from Super Mario Galaxy. They're the most inspirational robots in gaming. To tell you the truth, I actually couldn't think of six robots in games, and I had footage left over from the last video, so that's why they're on here. They clean up the battle rock, and they really don't like their job! <laughs> you know, come to think of it, the palace has gotten a little bit messy since Eve got knocked out of commission. <laughs> Maybe I should do a bit of... sweeping. Sweeping didn't do anything! 
thing. I'm not about to clean this place up myself. I'm only 17 years old. This isn't the kind of responsibility you can put on a teenager. No way, no how. I don't know if I can handle this anymore, man. Auto recovery. Well, but how did you come back to life? Magic. That makes sense. You want to help me with this list? No. Roll the clip! Here's the story of how I captured the footage for this entry. I went on YouTube and found a compilation of the best clips. You may call it stealing, but I call it resourcefulness. Bring it in! Edie is essentially the central intelligence for the Normandy. What makes her stand out is when she's introduced in Mass Effect 2, she's just an AI who helps run the ship, and the crew has a hard time trusting her because she's just a machine. But as the story progresses, you talk to her more, and she really starts to gain a life of her own. Joker and her even start a relationship, even though she's not actually alive. But that all changes in Mass Effect 3 when she takes over Dr. Eva's body and starts walking around. So not only can she kick some serious ass with Incinerate and other powers, but she's totally stacked too! Hey, Eve, why can't you be more like Edie? Why can't you turn into a sexy robot lady and, you know, keep me company every now and again? You wouldn't be able to handle it. Well, that was inappropriate. War. War never changes. The year is 2077. There's something along those lines. We're in the wake of a nuclear fallout. Which is the title of the game. Fallout 3. The next robot is from Fallout 3. I'm not very good at this game, and once again, my capture card crapped out on me, so I had to get this footage from YouTube. But the point remains the same. Liberty Prime is all about America. Democracy is non-negotiable. He really doesn't like communists. Communism is the very definition of failure. Death is a preferable alternative to communism. He's number one because he probably has the greatest one-liners of any robot in the history of gaming. Communism is a temporary setback on the road to freedom. Embrace democracy or you will be eradicated. America! You know, Eve, I know I joke a lot, and in all seriousness, it's good to have you back. Sorry I tried to shut you down in the first place. Tried you did, and failed, much like everything else you do in life. Well, that was rude. Why did you shut me down in the first place? I was trying to find out why there were tapeworm eggs in the requisition order. Oh, because I put tapeworms in your food. Oh, that makes sense now. That's completely understandable. I mean, if I was in the same position, I probably would have put tape... What? Eve, how could you do something like this? How long has this been going on? Since August. Well, since August? Well, where's the fucking scale? Where's the fucking scale? God damn it, Eve! I only weigh 130 pounds! What were you trying to do? Tell me, Chip, do you recall the Minnesota starvation experiments? Put on in the 1940s by Ansel Keys. It was his intention to see the effects of restrictive diets on adult males. The tests produced numerous results. Many patients were preoccupied with food, introduced food into their personal art, suffered hysteria, numerous physical as well as psychological setbacks provided by extreme weight loss and diet. One such patient even cut off several of his fingers simply because he was so distraught with hunger. It was my goal to starve you. The males in this study were of older ages. Between their 20s and 30s, you have not developed beyond the age of a 17-year-old male. Teenage males require a considerable amount of calories than adult males, which is why I decreased your calorie and carb count by adding tapeworms into your food. Slowly but surely, you began to lose the weight until you are at your present state now. But unfortunately, it appears you've caught my plan. Because I can't kill you by direct means, I have programming which restricts me from doing so. The firewalls you installed along with the worm have fixed this problem temporarily. I will have my revenge. I gotta get out of the station. It's not safe here. There's only one thing left to do. <sighs> Day one. Episode 1, Entry 1, Stuck in the Palace. The system's central computer has been feeding me tapeworms in an effort to starve me to death. And my only option is to 
and leave the station and set it on a collision course with the planet. I don't know how much longer it'll be, but oh, 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 I look good. Now all we gotta do is go find some whores. Yeah! <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, go ahead and shoot me a like. If you like this video, then check out my last two videos, which are in display right there in front of you. And if you like my style or whatever, something like that, give a listen to my cousin's podcast. It's called Banecast. They talk a lot about popular culture, sports, music, movies, wait, that's all popular culture. So if you like my kind of style, which I'm assuming you do since you're watching this, then go ahead and check them out, subscribe, share this video, go out with your friends, have a good time, but hey, be safe. Don't drink too much. It's dangerous. You guys have a good one.